AUT's School of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences is at the forefront of research in engineering, technology, and innovation. With access to world-class facilities and cutting-edge technologies, we are leading national and international research in data science, health technologies, material sciences, energy, and intelligent systems. So one of the more recent successes of the Institute is to spin out a company that's looking at humidification of airways. And the research that's grown in the Institute of over 10 years has been transferred into a company that is now um, being able to help people to breathe better in many different situations, but in particular in hospitals. Some of the research we have coming out of the lab is quite exciting. And in particular, we've been working with turtles. We're understanding the need turtles have in terms of their environment. So they're an endangered species. So they often lose limbs. So we've developed a prosthetic for the turtle that enables the uh, injured turtle to be able to have a natural and full life. The center of data science involves dealing with large amounts of noisy data and perhaps creates some actionable uh, insights to you know, uh, improve the world that we live in. Um, they range from uh, prevention of crime, or analyses of um, you know, CCTV footage, or looking at when the peak demand is in hospitals to manage that flow of patients a bit better. Uh, we have been working with Air New Zealand uh, for some time. We gave them a clear picture of what is possible in the use of additive technologies in solving the inventory and supply chain issues continuously faced by industries such as Air New Zealand. Our research uh, falls under the theme of the intelligent systems. So intelligent systems are referring to machines with uh, advanced capabilities, such as uh, being able to perceive, understand, and react to the world around them. We have some projects, for example, a smart sock, uh, which is essentially uh, an ordinary sock embedded with smart electronics that can be used to detect uh, the foot ulcers of diabetic patients. Uh, at AUT, we are working uh, with five New Zealand universities together. We are trying to see the, the best scenarios of integrating the renewable energy into the main grid and how it could uh, support the increasing demand. So with the increase in um, charging demand for electric vehicles, that's going to put a massive strain on the power system in New Zealand, increase the cost of electricity. What the technology that we've developed can do is it can lower those costs. The learnings that we're getting from the research are being fed back into our teaching um, to make theory that we teach students uh, more relevant. From the research, they're also seeing, um, hopefully, business opportunities um, that they can take up when they graduate. 